hey guys so i guess you are enjoying our videos so up till now you would have been familiar with counters timers interfacing with lcd and a basic led blinking uh, ad51 uh, ad51 architecture and the software keel so further i'm going to proceed today with interfacing with a with a keypad before we proceed to the code let us understand how a keypad logic works here this uh, the following site embedjournal.com is a very good site to understand how a keypad logic works you you can also visit it if not you can follow the video which i'll be proceeding with you have basically eight pins coming out if you have a four cross four keypad initially you set all the rows to zeros and all the columns to one and whenever a button is pressed let's suppose the this button is pressed basically r2 is shorted to c2 and c2 uh, gives a logic zero instead of logic one so you uh, wait for uh, your column to become zero you can see as follows further what what further what you do is one by one make all the rows from zeros to one and check whether the for whether the following column is coming to a logic one or not if the following column comes to a logic one then the following button is pressed if not then the button corresponding to that column is not pressed so let's proceed with the code so let's proceed with the code the following code prints the number on the lcd of corresponding to the number pressed on the keyboard oh sorry keypad so here initially we uh, map the pins of the lcd to the to the ports being at uh, to the ports at which it is attached then secondary we map all the key keypad pins the rows and columns the following is the instantiation of an lcd the further comes the keypad logic so initially we set all the rows to a logic 0 and columns to a logic 1 Further, we poll at all the columns. Suppose the button pressed uh, corresponds to column number one. So whenever the button is pressed, it shorts to the row and it is uh, set to a logic zero and further it jumps to the label LB1. Uh, in the instance LB1, basically what we do is we first initialize all the rows to a logic one and one by one change the logic of uh, one row from logic one to logic zero and again back to logic one and check whether the column goes high or not if the column goes high then the further key has been pressed and let's suppose the key pre pressed is from column 1 uh, and row 1 so the uh, so so uh, the further uh, print 0 instance will be instantiated and the pointer will move to point, uh, print 0 in print 0 the lcd command is instantiated as follows so let's check whether the program is working or not save build you can see the program is working with zero errors and zero warnings so let's test the uh, program on hardware. So the following will be the hardware that we will be using. So as you can see, the following is the code. And here we go to debug. And we run the code. You can see the LCD uh, being clear and here as we press 0 the 0 is displayed on the screen 4 the 4 is displayed on the screen 
Now we'll try the simulation for keypad along with LCD in Proteus. For LCD, we choose a 16 cross 2 alphanumeric LCD. The device is LM016L. And for keypad, you go to parts in the keyword column, type keypad. And you will see the different keypad options available to us like keypad calculator, keypad phone. In our case, we are choosing this keypad phone. Now, as you can see, all the rows and columns of the keypad are connected to port 1. So, we have made the corresponding changes in our code. Also since, this LCD, also, since this keypad is different from the keypad which we used in our hardware, we need to change our code accordingly. Now, we go on to dump the code. We choose the hex file and open it. Okay. And then we run the simulation. Now, as you can see, as I press 1, 1 is getting printed. As I press 4, 4 is getting printed. One can see the effect of debouncing of switch. To remove this debouncing effect, you can go on to play with delay. You can see that the effect of debouncing gets reduced if you increase the delay.